So if you was watching the uh, Bender video, you'll know that I made that bit that's sitting in the vice there now, waiting to be welded. Just in case you're wondering, I have got a drawing of what I'm hoping to achieve in this little build. I'll move over to the whiteboard and show you what I've got in mind. Uh, but the thing I want to get on with first is the wheels. So these are the wheels I'm going to be using. They're off of a sack barrow. The wheels just <clears throat> just come in half and bolt together like that. But they've got to be driven. They, these have got bearings in them just to roll on an axle. Obviously that's no good because I've got to drive. Them. These are going to be on an axle that's going to be driven. So they've just got a bearing in them, it's just pressed in there I think. So I'm going to press that bearing out, turn down a bit of stock to go in here, and they're on one side, and have it sticking out a little bit so I can get a cotter pin in there. So that's what I'm going to do next, press this bearing out and turn something that will fit nice and tightly into there that I can weld on. Well that came out nice and easy. So I've marked these up roughly. Well, I want to put a couple of flats on these where I'm going to drill through for the um, cotter pin. I'm just going to angle grind these off with a really skinny little angle grinder blade. Take the majority of the waste away and then put them on the mill and tidy them up.
and drill it. Right, well that's the two bits to go in the wheels made with their holes for the cotter pins. Need a bit of tidying up and the edges taking off them. And I've got to make the cotter pins. I think I'm going to need till next spring to make this golf cart. Well that's the cotter pins made. I had to make them slightly different because I don't know if the camera will pick that up, probably will. This hole's closer to this edge. A lesson to be learnt here. Take care where you're marking out. It's more important than you think. So I've had to make the cotter pins slightly different and I've got a little test piece in here to see how deep I've got to go with the grooves on the axle when I get round to it. 
But the cotton wins and the things that are going to hold them on are done. Now I've got to weld them into the wheels. Right, well I press the um, hubs into the wheels and just spotted them on. Just welded them around the edges. My welding still leaves a lot to be desired, but they spin the wonky as old Harry. But that's the wheels, they're only old sack barrel wheels. I put them on just. I'll put them on the metal that's going to be the axles just to make sure the two sides lined up. But that's it for now. I've got to weld up the frame. I still ain't done the welding on that yet. And then I'm going to have to notch these for these to stick on to, for the cotter pins to go through and put the pillar blocks on the frame well it's part of the way there I've got to cut the axle off to size mill the uh, flats to hold the hubs on but it's getting there if nothing else I'll have something to trundle every stuff about with Right, well I think that's about it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Well, there you go.